Dude, the weather is phenomenal out here. It's time to get the boat uncovered. So here it is. Um, this is our project boat. Um, I call it a project boat. It is a brand new hull. Um, I wanted to buy some kind of fishing boat, um, but I couldn't really find something that absolutely fit everything that we were trying to do. Um, we live here in the Pacific Northwest. A lot of area lakes are electric only in the high mountains, um, but we're also not far from the coast, um, and I do enjoy some Dungeness crabs. So. Um, we decided to get this little bare bones boat and um, we're going to customize it to suit our needs. Uh, it's not going to be a build like you see some guys doing on YouTube where it's fully decked out and things like that. Um, the idea of it was to have an open floor plan so that we could uh, move around and fish comfortably. Um, so it is a bare bones build here so far. I've done really nothing to the boat. Um, this is how I bought it from the dealership last summer. We've fished in it a few times uh, just to kind of get a feel of uh, you know, what it was like and what things we would want, where. Um, so, and then I spent the winter gathering up parts and pieces. Um, and now that the weather is better, we're going to start uh, customizing this thing a little bit. Um, the first thing that we're going to do, basically, we're going to put um, uh, some seats, one there and one on the back there um, for comfort. These uh, benches get pretty hot in the sun. Um, so we're probably going to uh, cover this front one, um, maybe the back one, and then put a seat on top of that and on there. Um, I have some ideas for tackle storage um, and a little bit of an electrical system here. Uh, we're going to cover the bow and put an electric trolling motor on. So the hull itself is a 2022 Smoker Craft Alaskan 13 DLX. Um, that means that it has the, the tall transom and it does have the split seats in the middle, which was a huge plus for us um, so that we can get up and move around and things like that. Um, it has some storage space here in the back um, where you could put some batteries, a fuel tank and things like that. Um, the wide open floor space and then in the front there's also um, a spot where you can stow your anchor and life jackets and things like that. Um, like I said, I'm going to put a seat back here. And I'm going to put a seat up there for the two of us and then probably we're going to cover the existing surface aluminum with some kind of vinyl um, because this this doesn't get quite as hot as this it's still pretty hot but there's a significant difference. The capacity plate says three persons or 325 pounds uh, with 625 pounds with persons motor and gear and it's rated for up to a 20 horsepower motor. Um, but uh, once you start putting that kind of motor on there, we're going to hit that weight limit pretty quick. Um, the boat is a good size boat. Um, it has a nice spacious interior. So uh, I think that between the two of us, uh, we'll be able to fish pretty comfortably in here. So this is a riveted hull. Um, it does have some storage space in the back there for your bilge pump and gas can, things like that. A rear bench seat, the split box seats in the middle, and then a front bench seat up in the front. Also, as I mentioned, uh, it does have some storage space here where you could put your ropes and things like that. Uh, the boat came with a nice Shorelander trailer. Um, it has a really nice long tongue on it, um, and it is really lightweight to pull. The boat itself weighs just over 200 pounds, um, empty, and this trailer is a perfect fit for this little boat. Um, so I saw a YouTube video from uh, Wayne the Boat Guy uh, and he was reviewing how you could get yourself a, a nice little fishing rig for around $10,000. Uh, and that's kind of what got me started on this journey here. Um, and according to his calculations, you know, it would be possible to get um, some kind of rig built for $10,000. Um, of course, that would just be boat, motor, and trailer is what he was referring to. Uh, and so far with the boat and the trailer itself, um, I could afford to um, put, uh, you know, a nice Honda outboard 9.9 .9 or a 15 horsepower motor 
uh, and still be within that $10,000 range that he was talking about for a brand new boat. Um, of course now once I add all the seats and uh, the electronics and things like that and the trolling motor, um, you know, it will uh, quickly increase from there as well. But um, like I said, we're not trying to go too crazy with this, but we want something that um, we can fish for lake trout and things like that comfortably uh, and also take out into the bay to do a little crabbing once in a while. Uh, it would be a good thing. So um, stay tuned and we're going to uh, have more videos and we're going to kind of document the progress as we go. Um, and you'll be able to follow along and I'll, I'll share with you, you know, how I'm doing things and, and the products that I'm using as well. Um, so, and if you like this kind of content, you know, please like and subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave any comments or questions or, or things you uh, want to know or questions you have for me, um, any ideas that you have, what would be cool here. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys. So, all right, take care. See you next video.